Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name's Alicia and on this channel we're going to be talking all things luxury, fashion and travel. So if you're interested in any of those three areas, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell down below so you never miss a video that I upload. So today we are going to do another unboxing video and we are going to be unboxing the Louis Vuitton Multi Pouchette Accessoire in the um, black monogram on prompt leather. Now the first multi pouchette accessoire was actually released in 2019 and it was an instant hit. It became a sellout item that was high in demand um, to the point where it was selling well above retail through resellers and third parties. Now over time Louis Vuitton have made variations of this bag which brings us to this specific multi pouchette accessoire. Let's start this unboxing. So first we have the big bag that it comes in and inside the big bag we have the equally large box. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So first we have the receipt. Now this bag was purchased in um, Sydney, Australia and it currently retails for $3,450. That in terms of price is slightly higher than the original multi pouchette accessoire which comes in the monogram canvas. And then we have the dust bag and inside the dust bag we have the bag. Now my essay actually um, separated the strap from the bag when she packed it. So I'm going to pop the strap back on. I'm going to see what this bag looks like as a whole. Now as I previously mentioned this is the multi pouchette accessoire in the black monogram canvas. It comes with a chain or gold hardware as well, and it comes with an adjustable strap. Now, this strap is actually only adjustable between two lengths, which I'll go into later. Now, a noticeable difference you may see is the coin pouch. So, this version of the multi pouchette accessoire does not actually come with a coin pouch. So, you only get the two pouches, which I think still looks gorgeous. So now I'm actually going to go into the measurements of the pouches. So the larger of the two pouchettes, which is this one at the back here, it has a length of 25 centimeters, a height of 14.5 centimeters, and a width of 45. Now the inside of this pouchette also has, don't know if you'll actually be able to see, but it also has a pocket just here. So it's probably, there we go. So there is a little pocket inside the larger of the two pouchettes. Now the smaller pouchette, which is the little one up the front, it, ha it has a length of 20 centimeters, a height of 12.5 and a width of four. So it isn't that much smaller than the larger pouchette. Now the strap, as I previously mentioned, only has two lengths. So this is the 27 centimeter. And then by simply adjusting it like this, you have the 47 centimeter drop. Now the adjustment is actually two buttons here. So you open up the buttons and then you kind of just pull it to meet the buttons on the side here. So it's only adjustable between the two lengths. Now this chain has a drop of 32 centimeters and the chain can actually be removed. So this whole thing can come apart to four pieces. So you have the two pouchettes, the adjustable strap and the chain. Now there are a few ways this bag can actually be worn. I'm going to insert a little clip and it's gonna show you how the bag looks on me. For reference, I am 152 centimeters. So the first way you can wear this bag is just with the shorter strap. So the short of the two adjustable straps are 27 centimeters. And then you can also wear it at the longer of the two straps if you would like, just as kind of a shoulder bag. At the longer length of 47 centimeters, you can also wear this as a cross body bag. Now you can also wear the pouchettes on their own. You do not have to wear both of them together at the same time, but another really cute way to wear it is actually by removing the strap itself and using the chain as your strap instead. 
So those are just a few ways you can wear it. I've seen people wear it as a belt bag if you um, can wrap the strap around your waist twice. Personally, that's not for me because I don't think this looks good as a belt bag on me, but I do think this is really cute. And if you're going for a simple night out, if you're just out for an hour or two and you don't want to carry the whole pochette, you can actually just take off the smaller of the two or you can take off the larger of the two if you'd rather carry the smaller one. So you just make this which is just another way of wearing this bag you can really get very creative with this um, you can do almost anything you want because it is detachable um, you can mix and match so in a previous video I did a review of the Louis Vuitton Alma BB um, and in that video I did tell you guys that the Alma BB is a bag that I use on a regular basis in that video, I also did a what fits in there and I showed you what I put in my bag regularly. So things like a diary, wallet, that kind of stuff. If you haven't watched that video, I will link it down below. Um, so please go watch that. But I am going to be using those same items and seeing how they fit in the multi pochette accessoire. So the first thing we're going to pop in is my diary. So I'm going to pop the diary in the larger of the two pochettes because the diary itself is quite big. Now next I have my wallet and as previously mentioned this is actually a very small wallet and this is because this is a card and coin holder that came out of the men's collection. So keeping in mind this is typically smaller than what most women may carry in their handbag. Next we have a travel size perfume. So it still is on the larger size for travel perfume but we are going to pop that in the smaller of the two pochettes. And then we have a lip gloss. This is a full size Fenty lip gloss. And I'm gonna pop that in the smaller of the two pochettes, just up the front here as well. And then I have spare cards that don't fit in my wallet, but I use on a semi-regular basis. So things like my Opal card, or private health insurance, or membership cards. And that I'm actually gonna put in the little pocket that's in the larger pochette. Now, we have my keys, which I'm also going to put in the larger of the two pochettes. And then, as I previously mentioned in my video, my phone sometimes goes in my back pocket and it sometimes goes in my bag. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be popping my phone in the bag. I have an iPhone 11 for reference, so it's not the largest phone on the market. It is still not yet the smallest phone. So this is how the bag actually zips up to be, with everything filled in there. Now, as you can see, it does fit everything. It, however, doesn't hold the shape of the bag anymore. So my back pocket, my back pochette, sorry, is actually quite large because my keychain is unnecessarily massive as well. Now, would I use this as a day-to-day -day bag? Probably not. It is a little bit fiddly. It does get heavy after a while as well. Would I use this as a night, as a going out bag for, you know, a dinner, a night out? Absolutely. It's so gorgeous. I think the black makes it very simple and I love the gold hardware. It's a little pop of, you know, color, a little pop of something. But this bag, I just do not see myself using on a day to day basis. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of the multi pochette accessoire. Do you prefer the original or do you prefer the variations that Louis Vuitton have made since the bag was first released? If you guys haven't watched, I have two previous videos, a Christian Louis Vuitton unboxing and a review of the Louis Vuitton Alma BB. Um, please consider watching those if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching this video and enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are. Bye bye!